Welcome back. It's still Wednesday, May the 22nd. My guest in this segment is Sharon Noble. And Sharon has been working for a long, long time on, I guess, the whole issue of electromagnetic radiation, right. et cetera. So it just keeps getting crazier, more. And now uh, our leaders uh, are introducing something called 5G into basically all of our neighborhoods. Yes. Um, there are health concerns. Maybe we can just start with that. Um, what are they doing and what are the health concerns? Well, can I go a step f back first? Let's explain what 5G is. Right now, many of people will see that their cell phones say 5G. That means fifth generation. We had second generation, which was the basic cell phone. We had 3G, third generation, where they improved it a bit. Fourth G, which is the majority now, where they have uh, the capacity to download more quickly. They can download more data. Now there's 5G generation, which is the next step. But then there's the 5G technology, and that's what I'm concerned about. This is what is going to be touted and is being touted as the best thing since sliced bread. It is a new technology where they're opening up a brand new spectrum of the, the radio waves that we've never used before. The military has. They're milli waves. These are very, very short waves that normally don't do a whole lot of harm physically as far as we know, except burn the skin. The military is using it as kind of a taser for, t for crowd, crowd control. Now they're going to be using it as transmitters outside our homes to supposedly improve your cell and internet connection. But what this really is, is it's going to be something that is the human body and really nature has never seen before. It's going to be going so fast, so strong, that it's going to be penetrating everything. Milli waves, by their very nature, cannot penetrate. They're very, very short. If they penetrate your skin, they penetrate to a certain level. Um, scientists are showing that it can damage by going in through the sweat glands and through the hairs in your arm, that it can burn your skin. But now, the new milli wave technology is going to be stronger. They're going to boost it with what they call phased, arrays, uh, phased array antenna. This is going to be beams, making it like laser beams, so that these milli waves that normally can't go very far and can't penetrate very deeply can now go very far and can penetrate very deeply. The science is showing that these milli waves, once exposed to your body, can do magnificent damage to your spleen, to your kidneys, to all of your inner organs. And scientists have not had the chance to determine what all it can do. This is just the very, very beginning of the, the studies that are going on. Industry is pushing this forward without any studies, just as they did with cell phones. Just as they did with GMOs and everything just else. Just as what they've done to GMOs and all sorts of the Nuclear asbestos, power. who would have thunk, yes. it, thunk yes. it, right? right? And this 5G right now, um, is the, the, the setting is being prepared by TELUS. All through Canada, and including British Columbia, including Victoria and most of the areas, people will see small boxes being put on power, power poles, hydro poles, telephone poles, right outside their homes. They're small boxes. What color? Dark. Okay. And they're not very big. Right now they're holding transmitters that are 4G, most likely. But the 5G transmitter will be put in there, or if it's not, it may be in there already and just not activated yet. There are still some problems that they're having to work out. But the ultimate goal is to have these on every pole along your neighborhood, maybe every two or three houses, so that they can sh uh, send these signals straight into your home. So on the telephone pole outside your home or on something outside one or two a block, is that? Every two or three homes. Every two or three homes. Because the milli waves without these phased arrays antennas don't go very far. 
they will be getting their signals ultimately from these strong okay. cell and transmitters. And they're basically going to be just shooting beams through your house. Blasting it. Through you. Blasting it. In fact, there was an article in my newsletter that I sent out last night that was an ad for the new 5G. You know, it's a great investment. You could earn trillions of dollars if you get in on it right now. And they admit this is going to be blasting laser beams <laughs> into every home, every business, along every street level. So is it up and running anywhere? They've done pilot projects. They did one in uh, Vancouver, and they said it works so well that they think that it's going to be going live pretty soon. Um, so so they, uh, was there any impact on people? Not that we know of, but it takes time for the body to be shocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's taken time. People are still um, suffering horrible health effects that they don't even know about from cell towers and from smart and meters. If they, if they ramped it up and people got sick, nobody would even know that it was because of this, this? Well, it wouldn't be long enough. It was only a few months long. The body takes a while okay. to be shocked enough you know, for the health effects to show up. But this is going live. Um, I read recently that it went live in Chicago and it went live in Minneapolis. So it's going to be going live very, very quickly. Now the ultimate goal, be, there are many problems with 5G. Health, of course, is the one that I'm most concerned about. But many people are concerned about their privacy. This particular um, technology, the admission is that the ultimate goal is to connect everything. All of the appliances, all of the appliances now that are being sold are smart. Your cell phone, your hair dryer, your refrigerator, your stove, everything is going to be smart. Your cars, everything is going to be sending signals using 5G to the cl closest cell transmitter that has the 5G receptive transmitter. The data is going to be gathered and this data is invaluable. In fact, I just read recently, and this is off topic for 5G, the BC Hydro has contracted with a company called Your Janet and it catches, it's capturing data from our smart meters and your Janet has contracts with more than 5,000 utility companies in 20 different countries and it's selling it to corporations, to banks. They're now using this data to determine your financial liabilities and whether you're a good credit risk. This is going to be going on even exponentially more once 5G is available. Why they want all this data, I don't know. But when you look into the 5G justification, the rationale is because they want the data and they want to be able to know what is going on, what products you're using. Now, you mentioned before we came on air that there is a safe alternative yes. that gives us any benefits we might, well, what are the benefits? Well, the benefits, are the to, way they're selling it, yeah. the way TELUS and all of the other telecoms are selling it, is faster internet okay. and faster cell, cell phone okay. service. Okay. The, be the best alternative, and it's a good one, is fiber optic cable. Okay. Fiber optic cable is faster than any wireless. Okay. It is much more efficient. It carries much more data. So what they're doing now is they're running fiber optic cable to the telephone pole outside your house and then, it, and then beaming it in with that's right uh, with wireless uh, so uh, what they could do instead is just run the fiber optic cable the last few feet yes or meters from the telephone pole into your house and solve the entire problem the ent at least the entire concern about health yes but what would be even better is something that is being pushed in many communities now and there are some communities in British Columbia and quite a few in Canada that are already doing this. Community-owned networks. Why should tell us, tell you what you have to do? Why should tell us have access to your data? Why should you be paying tell us to have something that you don't want, that you don't need? Why don't you take advantage of the government's money that's being offered right now to rural communities to establish your own network, fiber optic network, so that you've got broadband internet, you've got access to phone service, and the 
community owns it and controls it and benefits from it financially. Sounds like a great idea. So why don't we have it? Because most people don't know about it. Right now it's being offered to uh, rural communities and First Nation communities, even here on the island. Uh, do you know of any communities that are doing this? I do. I just happen to have a list. Uh, right now, in, uh, Coquitlam is doing it. There are quite a few First Nations that are, are preparing, and I don't have that list. But Stratford, Ontario, um, Eastern Ontario in the EORN district, Thunder Bay, Sudbury has so, one. So it is being done. I've never even heard about it. It's being started. And I would suggest that people who are interested in this go to a brand new website that is called connectedcommunities.ca. It has lots of information available. Neighborhoods could do this. Communities like Callwood, like Langford, like Victoria could be doing this. And they could offer safe alternatives for all the services. Plus now. get rid of TELUS. Yes, yes. Yes. We could make money and we could decide for ourselves how we want to use and gather this information. Sounds like a great idea. Fiber optic cable is wonderful and it's so much faster and it's more secure. Right now TELUS is partnered with a Chinese company called Unway. You may have seen it in the newspaper. Many countries are banning Unway because it's, uh, Chinese companies are controlled by a Chinese government that says that Whatever. Are you talking about Huawei? Is Huawei, that Huawei, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, okay. however you, H-U-A-W-E-A, -E yes, yes, Huawei. Yes. And it is partnering with TELUS. They have made the 5G transmitters, and they are partnering with TELUS right now to, install, uh, to erect and implement the 5G grid. Do we really want this? I mean, our privacy is, is already endangered. Do we want the cybersecurity? and the very security of our grid to be compromised? You know what, that's a good question, and that's a question that should be asked. It should be put out to the public. Here, here are the ramifications, here are the issues. I mean, this is not rocket science. Here are, here are the issues, what do you want? And I, then we're gonna do it. Wouldn't it be nice if our government did that once in a while? But the, the corporations don't even listen. Neither do the politicians. I've sent letters to major federal uh, politicians, all of our MPs, Horgan, telling them about Huawei. Why are we lo letting this happen? Not one person has even answered her, except for Elizabeth May. Elizabeth May is very concerned about it, and she was going to table something in Parliament. But once, once you table it, when you're in a position like Elizabeth May with not a whole lot of backup, tendency is for it to get smothered. Yeah, our, I mean, our political system is a nightmare. Well, no one wants to know. Yeah. If you don't ask, you won't find. And despite the fact that they are legally bound to do what's good for us, they're being highly negligent. They're ignoring the health issue. They're ignoring the sa safety issue. They're ignoring the security issues. And I think it's time we took control. Let's put in our own network secure, uh, network for our neighborhoods, so for our who communities. Would, do it? would the city government do it? Is that how it's being done they in, could. in Thunder? That's how yeah. it's done in some of the communities. Well, um, you know, anybody who's watching this, contact your city councilors, uh, no matter where you are in the CRD. And uh, let's get this going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, and and yeah, it sounds like a good idea. I mean, I know nothing about the technical end of it, but why not? Well, if you go to connectedcommunities.ca, you can read all about it. Uh, Sharon, why don't we just end it right there? Unless you've got, in fact, we are out of time. Yeah. So thank you very much. It's always thank my pleasure. Much. Yeah. Um, the whole 5G thing is just, it, it's out of control. And I hope we can uh, take control and get what we want, whatever that may be. Thank you very much for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.